Hi everybody, in this video we are going to revise relations. I am going to cover all the basic concepts and then we will move to MCQs of this chapter that are very important. Uh, so we will start with the very basic thing that is the ordered pair. You can see this is how we denote an ordered pair. This is a set with these elements a comma p and these are the curly braces. Whenever they ask you Cartesian product, it means n a cross b equal to n of a into n of b dot, right? Now a has a comma b as the elements, b has only 5 as the elements. When we do a cross b, we get a comma 5 and b comma 5. So the total number of elements in a cross b are two elements. How do we calculate it? Let's see. For example, we have n of a elements of uh, a 3 and elements of b equal to 4 so when we want to find out n of a cross b we get 12 let's take one more example a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 5 and b is equal to a comma b now n of a is equal to 1, 2, 3 and n of b is equal to 1, 2. That means n a cross b will be 6. That is how you calculate the Cartesian product. Now what is relation? Set of ordered pair is known as relation. You can see there is this set and all these are ordered pairs. Now you can see these are the ordered pairs. And the domain are the first element of every ordered pair. If I talk about the range, the second element of the ordered pair is the range. Right. Now, relation is the subset of a product set. A cross B is a relation and if they ask you the number of relations, then you have to write 2 to the power m n. For example, A has 2 elements, 2 comma 3 and B has Three elements A, B, C. They may ask you the total number of relations that are possible. So the formula is 2 to the power M, N. M means total number of elements in A, that is 2. And N means total number of elements in B, that is 3. The answer will be 2 to the power 6. When it comes to identity relation, suppose we have a set A, P, Q, R. So the identity relation and the elements here, the ordered pair will be PP, QQ and RM. If you get A, uh, P, Q, R, S and uh, the identity relation you get is P, P, Q, Q, R, R only. What happens is S, S does not belong to I. That is the identity element. So, this is not an identity element. Okay. We can't say this identity element because this relation uh, does not consist of this ordered pair S, S. I hope it is clear. It is very simple and you have already done all of this. Now, types of relation. This is the most important part. Reflexive, symmetric and transitive. For reflexive, if a comma a belongs to r for every a belong to a you can see that a belongs to a is compulsory like there is this element 2 it belongs to a right so 2 comma 2 should belong to r that is what this statement tells you you can say 2 comma 2 belongs to r and then 5 5 belongs to a according to this condition yes so 5 comma 5 should belong to R. Correct. 8 belongs to A. So 8 comma 8 belongs to R. And rest, the elements that are given, they are like they will be neglected. We just want 2 comma 2, 5 comma 5 and 8 comma. For example, there was um, a set A with elements 2 comma 5. And there is a relation. 2 comma 2 2 comma 5 okay so this is not reflexive since 
5 comma 5 does not belong to R. So this will not be reflexive. But you have to also check like these elements 5 comma 8 and 2 comma 8. They must belong to this set A. We have these elements 5 comma 8. They are in set A. We have these elements 2 comma 8. They are in set A. Now coming to symmetric. When X related to Y, then Y should be related to X. If A comma B belongs to R, then B comma A uh, belongs to R. In this case, you can see 1 comma 3 is there. So, uh, 1 comma 3 belongs to R. Then 3 comma 1 belongs to R. You can see 3 comma 1 belongs to R. Now, 2 comma 2 belongs to R. So, when we uh, reflex it, we find out that it is also symmetric like 2 comma 2 and 2 comma 2 mirror images then 4 comma 1 4 comma 1 when we uh, reverse them we reverse the elements we change the positions we get 1 comma 4 so it is in this relation hence it is symmetric now transitive relations x related to y and this is the sign of and y related to z is equal to x related to z so what does this relation say like a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r then a comma c belongs to r you have to be very cautious when you attempt this question because sometimes uh, you might feel that the relation given is transitive but it is not so uh, let's check for this r1 5 comma 7 7 comma 9 5 comma 9 9 comma 5 and 5 comma 5 so we will check for transitive relation. Okay. Now 5 comma 7 and 7 comma 9. We can see that 5 comma 7 belongs to R and 7 comma 9 also belongs to R. So 5 comma 9. Then 5 comma 9 belongs to R. Is it the case? Let's check. Yes. 5 comma 9 is there in this relation. Can we get another pair? Of uh, these ordered pairs. Just check 7, 9, and 9, 5. Now 7, 9, and 9, 5. See the element uh, of this ordered pair, the second element of this ordered pair should be equal to the first element of the another ordered pair, and that is how we find out. 7, 5. We can't see 7, 5 here. In this relation that means it is not transitive no it's not transitive then we don't have to check for the other elements all right now you can see r2 5 comma 5 7 comma 7 and 5 comma 9 in this case if i ask you about if it's reflexive or not then 5 comma 5 is there 7 comma 7 is there but 9 comma 9 does not belong to R2. It's not reflexive. Moving to symmetric. It's not symmetric since uh, 9 comma 5 does not belong to R2. Moving to next transitive. Let's check 5 comma 5, 7 comma 7 and 5 comma 9. Okay. So you can see 5 comma 5 is there, 5 comma 9 is there. So if we check out if 5 comma 9 is there, yes it is. And the elements 5 comma 5, 7 comma 7. So it is transitive. You might think why didn't I check for 5 comma 5 and 7 comma 7. That doesn't make a difference since we don't have the second element of this ordered pair equal to the first element of this ordered pair. So we don't have to check it. We only had to check this first order pair and the third order pair. So it's transitive. Moving on to some MCQs. You can pause the video and try this question. Now in this case, let us define a relation R and R as R A R B. If A is greater than or equal to B, then R is. So we'll check uh, for symmetric, transitive and reflexive. For reflexive, I will do it in a shortcut method, okay? Try to manage this. See A comma A, that is A is greater than or equal to A. Is this true? Yes, it is true. So it is reflexive. Moving to symmetric. 
let a comma b belongs to i so a is greater than equal to b a related to b so a is greater than equal to b and let us check for b r a b is greater than equal to a so this is not symmetric i'll give you an example like 2 is greater than equal to 1 that doesn't mean that 1 is greater than equal to 2 moving to transitive see a r b that is a is greater than equal to b then b r c that is b is greater than equal to c and then a r c that is a greater than equal to c if we take an example uh, then we will find out that it is transitive obviously that when a is greater than equal to b and b is greater than equal to c then a is greater than equal to c so this is transitive answer is reflexive transitive but not symmetric this is the answer okay option b i'll be attaching the link of this presentation in the description box the whole pdf so you can go and please like this video if it's helpful okay in this case which of the following is an identity relation so the answer will be option b relation is given a is less than equal to b so if we check for reflexive uh, then we can take a number minus 2 when you put the values you get minus 2 less than equal to minus a uh, that is not true so it is not reflexive Checking for symmetric, uh, I can put 1 comma 2. So when 1 is less than equal to 8, yes. Uh, so 2 comma 1. In this case, you can see that 2 less than equal to 1 is not uh, true. So it is not symmetric. You very well know how to put the values. Like I have put these values 1 comma 2, 1 less than 2 q. And then here 2 less than 1 q. That is what I did. In symmetric path, you can see when you take any uh, values like you can take any values that satisfy these two and then you have to check if it's transitive or not so it is not transitive answer is d none of these and the set here is 1 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 for this case the set is 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 answer to this question is none of these I will tell you how. Uh, you can see for reflexive, 1, comma, 1 does not belong to R. So it is not reflexive. You can give another example also. And then for symmetric, it is not symmetric. Since 1, comma, 2 belongs to R, but 2, comma, 1 does not belong to R. Transitive 1, comma, 3 belongs to R. You can see this is 1, comma, 3. And 3, comma, 4 belongs to R, but 1, comma, 4 does not belong to R. Try out this question now. Now in this case, it is reflexive and transitive since you can see that um, uh, for reflexive 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6 is there and for symmetric 1, 2 belongs to R but 2, 1 does not belong to R. For transitive, uh, we can check for this uh, which satisfies the condition 1, 2, 2, 2. So 1, 2 is there in this um, set. Now you can solve this question. Pause the video. Now in this question for reflexive when a comma a belongs to z a minus a is equal to 0 and it is divisible by 5 so it is reflexive for symmetric uh, a minus b we have taken uh, a comma b belong to z so you can understand i'm just doing it in shortcut so b minus a is equal to we'll take minus common a minus b it is divisible by 5 and for transitive you can see a minus b and b minus c are divisible by 5 and a minus c when we break it in a minus b plus b minus c it is also divisible by 5 so answer is equivalence relation now in this case it is reflexive symmetric and transitive uh, why is it transitive because we don't have to check for any of the conditions so answer is equivalence relation pause this video try to answer this question now this is 1 comma 1 is there 2 comma 2 is there 3 comma 3 is there no 3 comma 3 does not belong to r so it is not uh, reflexive Checking for symmetric, uh, 1 comma 3, so 3 comma 1 is there. 2 comma 3, so 3 comma 2 is, yes, symmetric. And then for transitive, uh, for transitive, 2 comma 3 belongs to R and 3 comma 1 belongs to R. 2 comma 1 does not belong to R. It is not transitive, answer is option B. I will be uploading other chapter MCQs. Thank you.